Here, using the capillarization method, we are going to find the surface tension of a given liquid. Now, the liquid whose surface tension is to be measured is taken in a container in which we immerse a capillary tube vertically. Suppose if the angle of contact is less than 90 degrees, so in capillary tube liquid level rises. If the liquid level rises and if angle of contact is less than 90 degrees, the shape of the meniscus is a concave. If the shape of the meniscus is concave means the pressure outside the above the concave is con concave meniscus is pi below the con concave meniscus is a p naught here pi is greater than p naught so we can write pi minus p naught is equals to 2t by r it is like uh, an air bubble inside the water inside the liquid now for the liquid surface tension is t and for this uh, here radius is r so that we write uh, pi minus p naught is equal to 2t by r r is the radius of this air bubble now we can also write uh, r is equal to a sec theta how do you get this when this is drawn big now see here a is the radius of the capillary tube and r is the radius of the air bubble and here theta is the angle of contact here if this angle is theta it is also theta here this total angle is uh, from here to here this angle is 90 90 plus theta this is and here it is 90 and this will be theta the total angle here 90 plus 90 plus theta it is 90 again it is theta like that this angle is uh, now theta now for the theta we apply the cos cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse a by r now r is equal to a by cos theta 1 by cos theta is a uh, sec theta now a into sec theta is equals to r instead of r we write uh, a sec theta now p i minus p naught is equal to 2t by a 2t by a sec theta let it be equation number one now as we discussed uh, in the uh, topic of uh, variation of pressure with the depth uh, now at this point pressure is pi at this point pressure is p naught uh, in a height of uh, h so we write uh, p i minus p naught is equal to rho g h now from equations 1 and 2 LHS is same we can equate the RHS by equating RHS uh, rho g h is equal to 2t by a sec theta 1 by sec theta is a uh, cos theta so rho g h is equal to 2t cos theta by a now we have to find surface tension t now 2 is equal to rho g h a by 2 cos theta now using this formula we find the surface tension of a given liquid rho is the density of the liquid g is the acceleration due to gravity at given place h is the capillary rise to what height liquid rise in the capillary tube that is h a is the radius of the capillary tube and theta is the angle of contact now generally for pure water and clean glass angle of contact is zero degrees suppose this liquid is water and uh, it is clean glass then cos theta cos of 0 degrees here cos 0 is 1 we write t is equals to rho g h a by 2 this is applicable only for pure water and clean glass in this way we measure the surface tension of a liquid